Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And in this one, we need to talk about the random modulator. And now this is a very simple kind of a very simple uh, modulator to understand. I'm going to go and just get it right here. Uh, it's going to be random. There we go. And this is just a random generator It's going to generate a random motion. That's all it is. But again, maybe you're starting and you're a little bit confused with all the, all, all the controls. So I'm going to explain them right now. So first of all, whenever you select the, uh, you know, with the random, it's going to give you an option to do it per voice and then non per voice. So for now, I'm going to go to non per voice. And this one is going to change how the visual representation of what it's doing, uh, you know, it, you get, you get a different re visual representation. So we're going to talk about the per voice in a minute. For now, I'm just going to show you this one. So again, this one is going to generate a random motion. So we can grab this one. And we can do a little bit of modulation of whatever we want. And since this is random, it's going to move in a random fashion. Pretty easy to understand. Now, of course, you get the controls right here, how fast you want to go. By default, you get, you can control it with a uh, musical, you know, <laughs> with musical notes. So in this case, 16 is going to go in a 16 fashion. And we can hear that. And of course, it's random. So it's a little bit weird, but that's okay. That's the whole point. Of course, you can go much slower if you go to a quarter note. Or you can go even when you go into Hertz. Now, whenever you go into Hertz, this knob right here is going to alter how fast you go. So if I go to the to minus, it's not going to be fast. But if I go to upper values, the changes are going to be faster. So you're going to get much changes. So with the other ones, it just works a little bit different. If I go up, it's going to be slower in changes. And if I go down, it's going to be faster. Oh, this is really fast. Of course, this, this, is, this depends on what you want to do. I'm going to go and maybe go to an 8 note for now. For now. Okay, so this one, this control is going to be the smoothness. Notice that the uh, changes right here are very harsh. You know, we go up and down, but it's super harsh. So with this one, what it will do, it will smooth the, the corners. So notice that as soon as we go, it's kind of a rounding everything. And if you go all the way, you're just pretty much going to get a sine wave. And if you're uh, going to go faster, you can really hear that or see that. And this, of course, moves in a different way. It's not so harsh anymore. Now, of course, you don't have to go 100%. You can do just something uh, in between, of course. And you're going to get a good sound. All right. So I'm going to go to eight note for now. And I'm going to go to the harsh way because it's just a bit easier to understand. So then you get, I'm going to not use do this one and I'm going to explain this one in a second. So notice that we are going from zero and up. Zero to pretty much whatever. Okay. So then you have the control, the bipolar right here. If I click this, it's going to be plus and minus. So this means it's going to go up, but it's also going to go down. So now it's going to be a bit more random because you are going positive and negative and not just positive. And this one, you're going to see it right here uh, on this visual part. If I disable this, notice that all the randomness is happening from 50% and up. But now it's going to go on negative and then positive. And this, of course, depends on what you want to do. If you want more randomness, it's just going to do the trick. And for some controls, uh, where you have bipolar, uh, you, you can go bipolar, like for example, the feedback in this case. Uh, it really works, you know, or maybe the envelope. Yeah, we can use that one. Okay, that's fine. This is what it does. Now, of course, right now, if you, uh, it's too aggressive with this one, this is the amount, uh, the control, the amount control. If you want, don't want to go 100% because it's maybe too harsh, you're going to go and do just a tiny bit. And this is very useful. So I'm going to go all the way up and then you have the trigger mode. Right now it's going to be in sync. Now free, it means that this will not restart. It's always in a random. It's going to gener keep re generating random on whatever value you're selecting right here. And it will not start again. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. So then you have the note. This means that the random pattern is going to start or is going to generate, start generating the pattern whenever a new node or incoming MIDI node happens. That's why it's going to, it's going to be called a note. So whenever I trigger on every single key, a new key is going to start and we, uh, you know, we start on a new pattern. It's going to start a new pattern. And then you have the other one, the sync, 
which means that it's gonna start generating a new pattern whenever you do play, pretty much. And not on, not on each note. And this, of course, it's important on whatever whenever value you're using right here. Right now we are using eight notes, so it, it's gonna always gonna work. But if you're use, using a different time, sometimes the random, uh, the random is not gonna start whenever you know the beat starts. It's gonna start in a different place. So my, in this case, the one I like the most is gonna be the note because every time we get a new note, it's kind of a restarting, so we get a good sound. So, okay, so now we're gonna talk about this one. And this one is the feedback control. So uh, on lame, uh, lame terms, if you go all the way right here, we're gonna get more constant changes whenever we get a new random. Notice that every time that we get a new note, it's just starting uh, at random again, but it's very consistent. So this is what it means. If you go to minus to negative, it's just gonna get a more uh, stable pattern. Now, of course, you can go and not do 100%, just gonna be a little bit less. And the other one, the other, is gonna do just the opposite. Now, if you go all the way, you're just not gonna get any change because everything is kind of a so close. <clears throat> Sorry, it's gonna be so close. You're just getting nothing. But if you choose just a tiny bit, notice this very, cl uh, every change is very close to each other. And if you go right here, it's going to be super random. If I do negative and positive, you know, it's going up and down, but now it's going to, I'm going to get it closer. But this is sound changes. And if I go all the other way, the changes are very constant. And this, of course, helps on whatever you want to do. It depends on the clip and depends on how much random you wish. All right, so this is it. That's it. You know, this is the whole random. It's a pretty simple device. Now, of course, uh, you can go crazy on this one. I'm gonna go and do play. And I'm gonna go into 16 notes because, you know, why not? And I'm gonna go and start modulating different things. Maybe I'm gonna go and do more voices just to do something else. And when I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and do the unison and I'm gonna go and do the sync. Maybe it's too harsh. I'm gonna go lower the volume just a little bit. Very cool sound. Now remember that you can get it closer right here. You can go faster. Or you can smooth the corners. All right, so that's it. Now, right here, whenever you go right here at the bottom, you get a control that says poly. So this is the per, the per voice control. And this is gonna be a little bit different. Now, every time we get a new incoming MIDI note, or in this case, we get a new chord, and that we are just uh, playing one, two, three, two, three keys at the same time. So it means that we are using three voices. Now, if this is disabled, it's going to run the same modulation on all the three keys. That makes sense. Now, whenever we do poly, it's going to use a different modulation, a different random pattern for every single key. And this is going, is going to uh, create a great sound because now every key is getting a different modulation. So we get, a, we get that sound, you know, it's just a bit weird, but it's very useful. And right here you get the representation of what it, you know, what's happening with every single key. If we add more keys, you're gonna get four or five or three different balls right here. You know, it, it depends on how many keys you're playing. All right. So that's it, that's the whole device. And remember how the original sound was, remember? I'm gonna go right here and you can go right here at the top or do Alt-A or, you know, depends on what you're using. In this case, I'm using Windows. So I can toggle this out, I can toggle this off. And this is the original sound. It sucks. It really sucks. So if I go right there and enable, <laughs> much better, right? Maybe a little bit of attack, just to smooth everything. Very different. Now, 
Well, remember again, this is depends on what you want to do. Maybe you have a very simple sound and you want to do something uh, uh, with a little bit more attitude. And you can get a crazy sound like this just, just by playing with this, uh, with this modulator. Alright. So that's it. So hopefully you learned this. You like this one. You learned something today on this one uh, with the random. And uh, remember to like the video and subscribe. And remember to check Patreon because I upload uh, upload to Patreon uh, everything uh, way before I do it right here on YouTube. So remember to check Patreon to uh, you know maybe support the channel and to get everything uh, before it goes on YouTube. All right. So see you on the next one.